Welcome back, folks. Some more broken ass sword. Hi, Andre. Hi, Georgie. Hello, Georgie. Hey. Yeah, she told me you came by. Ooh, quite a fine Georgie boy. I didn't expect anything quite so sexy. I hope you're referring to the manuscript. Man, we, well, of course. Before I kick your monkey ass. What did you make of the manuscript? It dates from the time of the Crusades. We guessed that from the Templar seal. It's a story and pictures like a modern day comic book. What story does the manuscript tell? I don't know. It was probably produced for the tourist market. Tourists? Oh, we oui, pilgrims in our thousands on our way to Jerusalem. The tourist trade is nothing new, you know. It's been around for centuries. Ever since Joshua made a packet selling souvenir bricks from the walls of Jericho. Have you deciphered any of the images on the manuscript? There's uh, very little I can be sure about. The slang of the bull could be a reference to uh, Mithras. Who's he? A Persian god, almost as popular as Christ at one time. The only thing I can be sure of is the knight. He's Spanish. How can you tell that? The writing on the shield, the reference to Ave Maria. No self-respecting knight from Northern Europe would have borne a coat of arms like that. Uh, plus, I saw him picking oranges in the orange grove. Can you identify the knight's coat of arms? I already did, Georgie. He's a member of the De Vasconcellos family from the Costa Calida. Were they famous? No. They're not mentioned after the 15th century. Oh. The uh, spotlight of history moved on. They are probably long dead. Thank God. Thanks for your help, Andre. You're welcome. Now we should be able to travel to that locale. Ario Porto. There we go. Pegasus. This would be a funny trick. I didn't like the idea of carrying 30 yards of hose around me. I didn't tell you to, you dumb bastard. sad when an old tradition comes to an end. Did you have anything to do with it? See, si, you. Well, I'm shocked. I'm mortified. How could you think such a thing? Very easily, senor. Very easily. I'm going to find out why my horse has stopped. And that means going into the house. You are not, absolutely not, to go in the house. If you do go in the house, I will set the dogs on you. Good for you. Can we go in the house, Jose? Pedro, whatever your name is. Doesn't matter.
I hid behind the armor and waited for developments. Hey, you. I know you are there, American. All right, you dogs, I'm coming. Stupid ass gardener. Go play with the dogs. Madre Dios, who are you? My name's George Stobart. I'm sorry to burst in like this. You must leave at once. You're not wanted here. Please, if you just listen a minute. Very well. State your business, Senor Stobart. There's been a series of murders, part of some conspiracy. Anyway, the trail led me here. Here? There is nothing for the outside world here. Over 600 years ago there was. What do you mean? This whole thing ties in somehow with the Knights Templar. The Knights Templar are dust. They had a secret that was so important, they went to a lot of trouble to hide it. And I do not see what this has to do with my family. Your family had a strong connection with the Templars, right? I believe that they've planted some clues here. <laughs> Why should I believe a, a complete stranger who barges into my home? Just let me have a look around. If I find nothing... You'll be spending the night at the police station. Very well. Please, sit down. Thank you. Mm. Somebody get this bitch a Happy Meal. I know your family. You should be. The Templars ceased to exist centuries ago. And as for De Vasconcelos, the line dies with me. I'm sorry. Don't be. Easy on the base there, buddy. Okay. Whatever happened, happened almost 700 years ago. So, if the Templars left any clues, they're going to be in stuff that dates back to the early 14th century. Obviously. So. What do you have around here that's early medieval? Early medieval, let me think. Well, the house is relatively modern, a scant three centuries old. Or, of course, the chess set. That chess set is over 600 years old? It must be worth a fortune. Indeed it is. Looks like a Milton Not Bradley. That I would part with it, of course. No, I wouldn't either. Uh, that's the sort of thing that gets handed down to your children. Or put on eBay. Sorry. Its value is less than you might think. The set is not complete. One of the pieces is a modern replacement. As to the original, it was lost a long time ago. Nobody has any idea where it is? No. The children had it when they were taken. Children? What children? All in good time, Senor Stobart. May I examine the chess set? Certainly. But do not move any of the pieces. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Close up, the modern piece stood out like a sore thumb. There was something else odd about the set. All of the original pieces had irregular bases. My lady, I have to warn you, there's a... You! Why, I'll feed you to the dogs. Lopez, what have I told you about feeding intruders to the dogs? But, my lady... Never without my permission. Senor Stobart, if I find that you're wasting my time, you will be fed to the dogs. Now, I want to show you something interesting. Follow me. Who's gonna feed me to the dogs? Wrinkly old grandma or this cripple-ass Mexican? No, unlock the doors. This is the only remaining structure on the estate contemporary with the Templars. Nice. What is it, a summer house? A mausoleum, Senor Stobart. Oh, come. <laughs> I'm so scared. Hey, Senor. Yeah? 
I do not know what you have told my lady to be shown this favor, but I do not trust you. You've got nothing to worry about. Aren't you coming in? No, the dead do not interest me. My garden is a living thing. I will be there. This is old. It was constructed in the 13th century as the final resting place. The Jesus Christ. Christ. Fucking base is ridiculous. It's well maintained. These are my ancestors. 